In this video, I want to point out an interesting problem um, concerned with the sine rule. So here's a triangle, ABC. We know two of the sides, and we know this angle, 38 degrees. So if I wanted to work out A, the angle of A, then I would use the sine rule. So I'd have sine of A over little a, so 7, is equal to sine of C, so sine of 38, over its opposite side, 5. And I would need, well, I'd be able to manipulate this to get sine A. So sine of 38 uh, divided by 5 and then times by 7 gets me 0 0.8619, etc. And then I can inverse sine both sides. So inverse sine of this is 59.5 degrees to 1 decimal place. OK, so that's all well and good, 59.5 degrees. And it fits with the diagram that I've drawn. However, however, there is also there is a problem here. OK, now what is going to link in with um, what we do uh, later on when we're working with trigonometry and trig equations is that if you look at the curve of sine, which you may have seen before at GCSE, then for 0 0.8619, because we're going from 0 to 1, OK, so 1's that top value, so 0 0.86 is about there and we can see that there are actually two solutions we've got one there that 59.5 degrees but there is another one okay there is this other one between 0 and 180 and that angle is 180 take away that so that would be 120.5 okay to one decimal place now Based on the diagram that I have, this in no way looks like 120.5 degrees. This is an acute angle. However, it's because of the way that it was drawn. Because um, I have that side given to me and this side and that angle, I could have drawn the triangle looking like this. So, if I draw it well enough. I could have drawn it like this. So you have 7 centimetres between B and C. You've still got the 38 degree angle and you've still got that length of 5 centimetres. But I've actually now got this angle of 120.5. It's kind of like thinking if I'm going to have that length and then in order to maintain that length it would have to go there instead. And so I could draw it as that as 5 centimetres, and that is the 120.5 degrees. So it's quite a curious um, situation, but there are actually two different triangles that we could be looking at here. Okay, So be aware that for certain triangles, given certain uh, sides and uh, angles, there may be more than one triangle that can be drawn.